Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, a bit of a different video from me today. I'm absolutely sick of my clothes not drying in the winter. This year feels particularly bad because it's rained non-stop. Um, I don't have a tumble dryer and it's pretty much been impossible to dry anything outside. And it's got to the point that the clothes are now taking about three days to dry. And the worst part is that it's creating mold in the house as well. So every time you dry your clothes inside, the moisture gets taken out into the air. And if you already suffer from damp in your home, it's gonna make it worse. And it's a real problem. And it does mean that our laundry keeps stacking up. We're not getting anywhere with it. And it's really not good for our health either. So today I am here testing out the dry soon drying pod. Um, Heated drying pods have been something on my radar for a little while because I had a flat for five years so never had anywhere to dry my clothing um, but this year is so bad I've done my research I found this listing on Amazon it's probably mid-range um, with drying pods on the market at the moment but today I'm going to show you how it works and if it actually works and how much it costs and hopefully fingers crossed it's the solution for dry clothes inside this winter. Everything's unboxed now, so I'm just gonna show you everything that comes in it. It's actually really easy to set up. So this is the dry soon outer cover. Here we've got the fan and the power unit, which keeps our clothes warm and dries them, hopefully. Um, here we've got the lower poles, which affixes to the floor like a tripod. And these ones here are the upper poles and the connectors. So it's only a few pieces really, and I'm gonna show you how to put it together now. Okay, so I've got my instructions. Admittedly, I've already set it up once without using them, so instructions are really useful and it's super easy to set up. So the first thing is you just take the power unit with the fan and we're gonna pop the three legs into the bottom of it. Um, and you can see the three places to pop them here. Okay, so they all look good. Uh, so my base is now complete and it should look like this. Okay, so my stand is now set up, um, and I'm now going to grab these two connector poles. So, firstly, going to grab this one, it's got the two similar ends, um, and either end can go into this, and you literally just twist straight in. Make sure it's nice and secure. Okay, so I've now got my second connector piece, and again, it doesn't matter what side you screw in, and it's really simple, just screw the base in like this, and make sure that's really tight and secure. Okay, so now it's time to grab the bag and pop it over with this. this. We do this day before we add the hangers onto it. So I'm just going to unzip it and then I'll just pop it over the hole like this, just moving it into place just beneath this. Okay, so I'm now going to grab the hangers and these are the parts that open out and we put our hangers in when they're inside. So I'm just going to pop this in and just screw it into place by spinning it. And it will be nice and secure. The hangers are now pulled down and they're ready for the hangers to be placed on to dry. Okay, so the last stage, just going to grab the bag and we're going to pull it over the top. And the drying pod is ready to go. Okay, so the drying pod is ready to go now and as you can see, we've got everything set up. It's ready to go and we just need to do a wash for it. We are now ready to put it to the test. Let's go. Okay, so the wash is done and we're ready to start hanging up. So I'm just gonna show you, um, so we've got this that zips up, so obviously keep, keeps everything and the heat in. Um, unzip that, and then obviously this here that you will hang the hangers on, um, and it says you can fit up to 12 hangers in here. I've only done a little wash prior to this before um, to see how it worked. Um, so this is gonna be my first time properly trialing it, so let's give it a go. Okay, so we are now loaded up. So like I was saying before, there's six long arms in here. So roughly they suggest you can use 12 hangers in here. So that's two for each peg. So I've actually just got 10 in here. I actually didn't have enough stuff um, in my wash. And I've got a real mixture of stuff in here to show you how each thing sort of dries. 
So we've got like a, a thick bath mat here, we've got some trousers, there's a towel in here, we've got a hoodie, and we've got some thinner pieces as well. So it's just going to be interesting to see how long this whole system takes to dry now. Um, so right, I'm just going to plug it in now and I'll show you what you do next. Right, we're now going to zip this up so the drying pod is all, all um, intact and it's ready to be switched. focus so I just want to show you two ways that this can be used so the first way is with this dial you can turn it clockwise to point it on so this is a manual setting so um, it's up to your discretion when you want to turn it off or alternatively you can turn it clockwise to your chosen time that you want it to run for um, so you can run it for up to 180 minutes um, but I think on this go I'm gonna give it a try for just an hour so I'm gonna give it a go for the 60 minutes point and I'm just gonna swivel this clockwise to turn it on once it's on, you can see the red light is lit up and the bag starts to expand. So it's switched on now and you might be able to hear this from the video, but it's a really quiet sound. It's no worse than having a fan on in your home. Um, and if you if you just put it away in sort of a utility room or kitchen, um, it's, it's not too bad. Um, as you can see, the bag sort of um, puffs up a little bit when it's in use and the hot air sort of escapes from the top So I'm actually hoping this might help to warm a room up as well um, But now all we've got to do is wait an hour and I'll come back to you on how we got on. Okay, so uh, It's not just yet hit now about five minutes to go. I've just had a little look inside and a lot of it's still quite wet um, and that's mainly because I am drying some really heavy things in there like a bath mat um, and a towel and a hoodie. There are a few things that I've been able to take out as they're bone dry and that's generally just because they're really thin. Um, but I think I am definitely going to need a little bit longer than an hour to get this dry. So I think I'm going to have to put another 30 minutes on it when we reach the hour mark um, and let it keep running. I'll be keeping an eye on the electric to see how much it's been spending so I'll be able to report back on how much it's actually cost to get my stuff dry. Okay, so... I've just had this on for another 30 minutes. I'm just going to see how everything's feeling now. Mm, still a little bit damp. This is still damp, which I'm really not surprised about because it's super thick. Uh, okay, so this is dry. Jumper's dry. That's not really dry. Let's check what's going on at the back. The hoodie's still a little bit damp. And the towel's damp at the back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the bits out that are dry and I'm going to try it for another half an hour. Obviously it does recommend 180 minutes anyway. So let's pop it back on for half an hour and hope everything is dry after that point. Okay, so we have reached the two hour mark now um, and everything is pretty much dry apart from the bath mat. So I think there's a few things to come out of doing a full wash load today and using the drying pod. And that is don't overload it. Um, I didn't even have the full 12 hangers inside it which is what they recommend you use as a as sort of a maximum i only had 10 in there and i had a real mixture of sort of thinner items that i knew would would naturally dry quicker and then your really heavy items like the bath mat and the towel which really just retain moisture and water so after two hours i'm pretty impressed that everything is dry bar the bath mat um, um, it was so simple to use, I think that is one of um, the best things about it. Um, easy to set up, easy to switch on, it's fairly quiet, it's not noisy at all. You can sit on a timer, forget about it and come back to it at a later stage. And you've not got all of that wet stuff hanging around on top of your radiators um, and on a drying rack. And on a wet day, you know you can still do a wash and get everything dry, which is a real benefit. Um, so one thing I did want to mention is the cost of this. Okay, so in the cost of living crisis, everyone is trying to find ways that is more cost effective to dry your laundry, which doesn't involve a tumble dryer. I don't have a tumble dryer, so I don't have the luxury of using one. And I do think they're quite expensive to use. Um, I will put some figures in the caption and also on a blog post, which I'll link below to give you a bit more sort of feedback around pricing and stuff. But for two hours of use um, of the drying pod today, it's cost us just over a pound, which I think is pretty good to be honest, because we haven't had to have the radiators on today to dry that clothing, and it is cheaper than using gas for a couple hours on the heating. I do love how compact the drying pod is. As you can see, it really doesn't take up too much space, and it's got some air vents at the top so the heat can escape, um, and you know doesn't lead to any sort of fire hazard. 
Um, you have got all of these different hangers inside. Um, you will need your own hangers to add here. Just to round this um, video up today, the Dry Soon Drying Pod has a thumbs up from me. Um, I'd probably rate it on an 8 out of 10 for its effectiveness, its cost, and how long it takes to dry things. Um, I haven't tried any other drying pods on the market. Um, this one we found on Amazon. It was sold by Lakeland and it was £99. I will link it below in the caption. And in, on my blog, I will have some other options as well for, for you to look at. This was in the mid sort of range. There are some a bit cheaper. And there's also some that are a lot more expensive we kind of looked at reviews and there are basically no drying pods with no bad reviews which is what you'll always get so we kind of just had to take a hunch on picking this one um i definitely would recommend it if you're looking for an option to dry your clothes this winter which doesn't create mold and doesn't take days to dry this really is a great solution you'll have dry clothes in about two hours and it's such a nifty little solution to a very common problem in our home. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Do let me know your thoughts on this product or if you've tried a better solution that you think I should know about. Um, and I hope you enjoyed watching it. If you do, please give it a thumbs up.